Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. What if you guys today is another vision video. Today we'll be going over a pretty unique glitch in the underground. Now keep in mind, this glitch is not going to make the underground missions 100% easier. This glitch only is effective for one single directive. It's pretty much going to cancel it out when you are playing with this directive on. So if you guys do enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, but let's get right into this. Now I'm not too sure if you guys watched my previous video I posted about 4 or 5 days ago where I pretty much showed you guys how you can never fail a underground missions which it was if you lower your gear score down below 200 you could pretty much respawn every single time uh, even if your entire team dies you could just pretty much respawn in the mission and go on from there. So for that glitch you had to get a lot of shit gear and it's pretty much the same thing for this glitch you have to get a ton of really really bad gear. So what you want to do for this glitch is go and purchase all the really crappy gear. You can only buy gear that has firearms or electronics because you want your stamina or toughness as low as possible. The best you have is around 20,000 toughness and I know that's really really shitty but trust me that's how this glitch works. So once you purchased all the really bad gear and you can lower your toughness all the way down what you want to do is go to the underground and go to the operations table. From there on you obviously want to select your missions, your heroic or challenging mission, whatever it is, and you want to put on all the directives. Now, as you guys know, the sickness directive is really annoying because it pretty much lowers down your health every single second and sometimes it is very annoying, especially when you're one shot and you have the sickness directive on. It's pretty much just a pain in ass. So once you selected your heroic, challenging or whatever mission and all your directives on and you have the sickness directive on, what you want to do from there on is switch to all the shitty gear. Now you want to do that after because if you do it before selecting the heroic operation, you're not going to be able to select it because it's going to say your gear is too low or something like that. So you want to do it after you actually plan the operations. So you want to put on all the gear that lowers your toughness all the way down. Once you're around like 30, 40,000 toughness, you can go ahead and start up the mission. Once you are in operation, you guys can see my health is still going down. What you have to do from there on is put on your normal gear. So put on all your overpowered gear, put on everything you have that you normally use. Once you do that, you want to pop your medkit or your first aid. So pretty much you get a overshield. Once that overshield goes down, you guys should see that the sickness directive is going to take forever to bring your health down. Pretty much what it does, it makes the game think you still have 30,000 toughness, but you really have like 450, 500,000 toughness. So even though the sickness directive is still on, your health should go down very, very slowly. Your health will still go down, but it's not at the same rate as it was before. But that's pretty much for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos. And I know although it doesn't cancel out the sickness directive all the way out, it makes it very, very weak and barely noticeable. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.